Elon Musk shocks the world revealing robo-taxis on 8.8. Inside this video, I'm going to tell you what it means for your leap options and what we could see over the next couple weeks. Let's dive right into it. As you can see, Tesla, robo-taxi, on Val, on 8.8. Eight. We got months to go. Here's what's going to happen. Typically, when news like this comes out, we're going to run up until the news and then sell off. So watch out for that. We're going to take advantage of this four-month stretch of bullish opportunity. In the meantime, we're trying to buy leaps this year on Tesla aggressively, and we have a little bit, but we want to get a lot of bit. Here's the update on the numbers roughly of what's happening with our leaps. We were at a $2,000 loss on the leaps. And of course, Elon Musk, the GOAT, comes out with that tweet that pushes us back to break even, basically. The beauty of Leap Options and what we're teaching on this channel is that we're making money no matter what is happening. So cash collected is $700 already from covered calls and then $1,400 coming in by next week. This at this point to next week brings us to a total return of $1,700. Remember, these options cost us $30,000, so that's a 5% yield already on our money in just a couple weeks doing this strategy. I've told you guys I have $200,000 on the sideline reserved for my one love, Tesla, and we're going to be making money on this as we go. So the cash return on my 200 k over the last week, one week later, since I told you guys about this strategy, it's collected five grand. So most people out there want to make passive income, want to learn my strategies. The only way to do it is apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching with the link below. One student made $930 after one week of learning our strategy. So it works for swings, day trading, options, and futures. So if you want to be one of my students for the next couple months, fill out an application. We don't accept everybody. So again, here's what's happening with Tesla. We have our leap levels down low. We want to be buying leaps at 150. We have earnings coming up. Anything can happen. The market is still in this downtrend for Tesla. So I am still trying to buy the dip if it happens. If we don't dip, we just make passive income and we make money from selling calls. Simple. Down here, if we hit 140K, this would be a pure recession opportunity for Tesla. Pure recession for the markets maybe at the same time. It might get ugly, but we want to be buying heavy down there. So here's the deal. When you buy over time with the leap options, you have the ability to slowly get the bottom because bottoms never come in one or two candles. The bottom came here of four candles and then we rallied at least 100% on Tesla stock, maybe 200% at the top. So that bottom took four weeks to come in. And then over here, you know, this bottom took another four weeks. So we're about five weeks here sideways. And I don't think the selling is over. So here's the key dates you have to be aware of. CPI came out, did not even phase Tesla. Tesla's down $5 from the high of the week. But more importantly, it's green we got a green candle on the weekly while the markets are red. Think about that. We're green when the markets are red based off robo-taxis. Let's go. As you can see, long options right here. Here's what we're looking at, the 180 calls for June. We're buying them a year out so we can sell against it. Eventually, over time, we'll make enough passive income to pay for this $27,000 position size. So I'm not worried about it going down, but I want to make sure I slowly get this bottom because it's going to rock it and a rocket from the bottom. Our short options are the 180 calls going out to the 19th of April. So next week, those should be worthless. We still have a thousand bucks to collect on that left over. And then here's what I'm doing. If you guys want a good overview of how I'm making great income, I mean, 5K, I was only holding for two days. 5K in two days, how does he do it? Tesla, selling puts. Here's the secret, TSLL, selling puts. If you sell on that one, you're making 50% more premium. And then ARC is more of a safety bet there, more diversified. But here's the proof. First off, Tesla, we were just selling last week at the dip. Once the market dipped hard at Tesla for 162, 164, just heavy sold 155 puts. So this was about, I think, $30,000. And we collected 300 bucks off that. But I put 60 grand in to 
the TSLL. So during that major dip, I thought, you know, this is the perfect opportunity to position into Tesla if it continues to dip using the poor man's covered call. And the way this works is the poor man's covered call, if you hit your short strike, which is $6 for the TSLL, that's where you would be buying Tesla. At this point, it would be 15% lower from where we are now. So if I go to the chart, type in TSLL, we're gonna see that Tesla isn't anywhere close to six bucks. So $6 was such a cheap, cheap discount if we were to hit it. And once we dipped last week to that low, it was like 670 on the, the last candle here. That's when I went hard on those puts. And the idea is if you love a stock, you want to be buying it when it gets cheap. The best way to buy it when it's cheap is through cash secured puts. And the best way to buy Tesla, in my opinion, is with TSLL or leap options. So I'm doing like a variety of these strategies, but basically I'm going to move this here. You can see that the price of this stock, which is Tesla 1.5 leverage, is six six to seven bucks. If we were to run to the 2022 August highs, this would be a going up from the low, a hundred, a 300% return. So 300% return on Tesla if you run from the low to the high. And this isn't even accounting what we could do if we hit all time highs on Tesla. This is just the August 2022 level. So if I go to Tesla here, what we're going to see is that August is right, where is it? July, let's see, it's pretty pretty dang close. 2022 is over here. This move on Tesla is an 83% return to the August level. So 83, but if we buy the TSLL, we're getting 273% return. So just remember, the leaps are powerful because the leaps can make you 500 to a thousand percent return at the highs, but so can the TSLL because the TSLL is basically a leveraged ETF and that's holding leap options for you. So you don't have to do it. You don't have to have that time decay on your side or against you. So I'm a big fan of putting a lot of money in the TSLL at the right moment. It's the same thing as the leap. And what I'm teaching you right now here today is that you can just sell puts on this thing and try to own Tesla through getting assigned. And if you don't get assigned, you're cranking huge premiums. Again, you know, I probably made 3% in the past two days holding this. Three to you know, three to four percent. So this was a four grand win. It was a lot bigger than TSLL because I had more capital in, but more importantly, it creates more premiums. So this is the one thing you got to understand. The leverage funds help you make super high passive income. ARC is another thing I do when I just want to do low risk passive income plays. So ARC right now, 300 bucks just off of a $30,000 position. So overall, you know, we were looking at like last week, $180,000 in cash secured puts on ARC and Tesla and TSLL. And that helped us make five grand. So I'm putting the cash to work. I'm not just having 200K sitting on the sidelines. And if you want to understand the process of what I do, this channel is for you. So subscribe if you want to be following this Tesla journey. Overall, we're just going to go over and see what the markets are going to do for you in the next couple months. Um, but the big thing is that we just had CPI and then we're going to have FOMC on May 1st. We have with FOMC, a 98% chance of no cuts. We know this is no cut thing is happening, so it's not going to be a surprise. On the short term for Tesla, we still have not bottomed, and I'll show you why. Basically, this range for Tesla, we have our highs, and if we do not break the highs, this is not a bull rally yet. And if we don't break the lows, this is not continuation bearish yet. At this point, Tesla is undecided where we're going to go. But typically how the market works is it has to swipe the lows and then come back in the range. And then it typically retests and then rips. So this might be what is pushed through earnings, but this is how liquidity is taken basically.
So if we want a true bottom in the market, you do have to typically break the lows and then get inside the range. And then this last level over the highs is gonna break. And this does help us get that true bottom in. And this would help me also be buying in at 150. Like I said, 150 needs to hit for me to go heavy on leaps. So that would be the structure, the move, that would produce for me the long-term bottom on Tesla. And this is such an ace in the hole over the next four years. You're just one tweet away from having a major run back up to $300, $500. I think Tesla, Elon, they just have so many things they can pull out of the bag to move the stock higher. So with that being said, if we just purely broke out over 190, 180 from this range, I would be a little bit nervous because um, it didn't get that scary drop, that driving force down that produces like this is a V bottom here, this is a V bottom, right here, V bottom, V bottom. We still haven't got that scary V shape recovery that gets everybody out. You want to be driving the people out long so that there's no pressure, no pressure for sellers when it goes up. So when the stock goes up, there's no selling pressure because the longs are out. They just need to stop hunt more longs at this point. And that's why I think we're going down a little bit more. So don't go hard and don't put all your money in Tesla at this moment. I think it's better to do what we've been saying is sell against you know, puts with your capital, sell against your leaps. Just try to maximize the fact that Tesla over time will be at two, three hundred dollars, but the bottom is not confirmed yet. Totally not confirmed. So the other thing I want to point out is that robo taxi thing. I'm telling you, if we look at the date here, August, that is so far away. There could be this huge hype opportunity. And this is what I'm projecting, like 300 bucks by August. We have such an opportunity to run into this hype moment. This robo taxi thing could get super hyped in the news, social media, YouTube. The gurus are going to pump this stuff. And when things get pumped in the public and the stock's running like that, you know, it, it, tend, it tends to sell off after the fact, not before the fact. So we're going to be running into the news. So buy the rumor and then sell aggressively when the news drops on a 8-8. I guarantee we'll be down 10% on Tesla within two to four days after the news. So ride this rally. Try to make some money if it's going to start confirming the bottom and running into the news. It's going to be insanely exciting. And that's all I got, fam. Again, if you want to trade with me for seven days, hit the link below. We got a Discord where I'm live streaming every single day. We'll love to have you inside. Peace out.